Wikendi imekuwa ni wikendi ya kufana tena defu ambayo ni mambo ni mambo ni mengi ambayo yamepata kufanyika wikendi ikiwemo harusi ya mwanawe ambaye ni waziri mkuu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Honorable Musalia Mudavadi and we have been busy that's one of the reasons why we haven't delivered this story to you but right now wacha tuzamie story kwa undani i today bring to you the story of Nyaga Karanja the lucky man or the lucky lawyer who we went ahead to marry Mudavan's daughter in a glamorous traditional wedding on Saturday. Nyaga Karanja has officially joined the exclusive list of the sons-in-law of influential Kenyan politicians. His recent wedding with Mirihan Mudavadi, the daughter of Prime CS Musalia Mudavad, catapulted him into the limelight, captured the attention of the media and sparked curiosity. But who is this man who was bold enough to snatch the heart of the daughter of one of Kenya's richest and most influential figures? He's an advocate, Mr. Nyaga Karanja. At just 31 years old, Nyaga Karanja boosts a remarkable career as a highly accomplished lawyer based in Nairobi. He's an advocate of the High Court and the head of the corporate and commercial department at KNG and co-advocate LLP. The law firm specializes in areas of dispute resolution, real estate, conveyancing, and corporate and commercial law. Karanja's expertise, expertise is corporate and commercial law, particularly in dealing with financial institutions. His portfolio includes advi advising companies on intricate matters such as bank and finance, private equity, capital markets, and tax law. He is also an expert in handling cross-border transactions, complex financing and competition law matters, which places him among the legal elite in the country. On his academic prowess, not just a legal luminary, Nyaga is an academically distinguished person. His accolades include a PhD in public policy from the University of Nairobi, a Bachelor of Law degree from the same institution and a Master's in Political Science from the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom. His legal acumen was showcased in the year 2021 when he was among the eight petitioners who challenged the Constitution Amendment in the BBI case. Karanja, who was only 28 at the time, was aided by lawyer Mora Obete. Now, let's talk about the wedding. The much talked about union between Nyaga and Mirehan was celebrated in a grand traditional wedding that garnered significant attention across all media platforms. The lawyer tied the knot at the age of 31, which coincidentally was the same age that his father-in-law Mudavadi tied the knot with his wife Tessie in the year 1991. The union was not just a, com a coming together of two hearts but also a fusion of tradition. The couple adhered to customary practices including the Rurashio ceremony that was held in Mululu, the ancestral home of Musalia Mudavad in Vihiga. Prior to that, they had done the Kwara, the Kwara Rutara ceremony as is customary in the Kikuyu community. This is a ceremony in which the bride and bridegroom's parents officially meet. The love birds exchanged vows at St. Austin Catholic church surrounded by friends and family and predictably influential politicians. Among the big names in attendance were President William Ruto, Kirenyaga Governor Anway Guru, Cooperative CS Simon Chelgui, Defense CS Aden Duale Moses Kuria Kipchumba Murkomen and Majority Leader Kimani Ishungwa. While Nyaga Karanja's expertise expertise and dedication to law are apparent, whispers of his potential interest in politics have surfaced with rumors that his name might be in the mix in the year 2027 general election. For now, the lawyer stands alongside the privileged son-in-laws of prominent Kenyan politicians joining the likes of Alex Moy, who married Gina Kenyatta, and Alexander Zenagu who became President Ruto's son-in-law by marrying his firstborn daughter, June Ruto. Yeah, that's among the trading stories in the country right now, and yeah, that is Nyaga Karanja for you, the man that won the heart of 
Mirehan Mudavadi the daughter to the prime cabinet secretary Musalia Mudavadi. Mm, what do you have to add or what do you have to deduct in the said story? Mm. And we support these uh, Mudavad and uh, Nyaga Karanja's union because this is a union that unifies uh, us, you know, the Mount Kenya Maring from the western side of the country. It's, it's something to be celebrated and it's something to agree with. Yeah. Nigeria. And that's what's up. See you in the next one. This is FM Update Show. Namimi Felix Mwenda, the host of Kwako.